Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share some spring new arrivals with y'all from a bunch of different retailers that are currently on sale exclusively in the LTK app this weekend. If you don't know what the LTK app is, it is basically a shopping app that I use to share daily outfits and pretty much anything and everything that you have ever seen me shared. It's linked in that app. And so a lot of times they partner with different retailers to do exclusive sales through their platform. So wanted to give you all the heads up that it is going on today when you see this video and through the weekend and retailers like Abercrombie, Anthropology, Airy, Vici, I think there's also American Eagle. There's a bunch of different retailers. I'll put the info on the screen as well as the promos going on in the description box below with all of the details. But I wanted to highlight some of my favorite pieces from those retailers in today's video. I hope you enjoy today's looks and let's jump in. Starting off with some pieces from Abercrombie, they are doing 20% off site-wide with the code through the LTK app. I'll have all of the different sale promos listed in the description box below. But starting off with this little white dress, which did not disappoint. I love the material of this one. It is very soft and it is lined as well. Also find this top to be really flattering. I'm wearing a size small, it's true to size. You could also wear this one off the shoulder if you would like as well, but just, you can't go wrong with a good little white dress for spring and summer. This is definitely a staple in my wardrobe and I'm very impressed with the quality and the fit of this one. I paired it with these platform sandals. If you missed my sale alert over on my community tab, Target is doing 20% off of sandals and swim this weekend through the Target Circle app. Here is another little white dress option. This one is definitely dressier and more sort of polished, I guess. It kind of reminds me of a blazer dress with the pockets here. It buttons all the way down. It's functional that way. And the material on this one is also really nice. It's thick, not see-through. It is well fitted and it's slightly stretchy. Not sure what the composition is i need to take a look but definitely a fan of the material it's just really flattering i am wearing a size small i paired it here with this little straw bag which i think sadly may have sold out i think they put it on sale last i checked but i'll try to find it at another retailer and then i paired it just with some sandals to sort of dress it down this dress style feels very meredith blake to me if you had some like skinny sunglasses if you wanted to go the extra mile, even do a little classic red lip with it to dress it up. Also, I don't know where this bruise, this massive bruise came from on my leg, so ignore that. But yeah, just a very, I would say polished summer dress. Some of y'all probably remember my struggle with Abercrombie jeans. I tried them, was it two years ago now? I ordered a ton of different styles and really, I still to this day haven't really figured out their jeans. For me, but I honestly think back then when I ordered, all they had was ultra high rise and high rise. And I have definitely learned that ultra high rise is a heck to the no on me with my short torso. And I feel like they have a lot more lower rise options now. So I need to kind of maybe do an updated review, but I grabbed these. These are a 90s straight leg jean in a mid rise, which is hitting me just at the belly button maybe slightly below. They almost seem like they could be considered a low rise these days. And I also got a curve love because I wanted to try the size down. So I got a 27 in these in the curve love. And I feel like these are a much better option than all of the jeans I've tried in the past. These also have some stretch to them as well. So if you're looking for like that structured straight leg jean, but want some stretch to them so they're comfortable to sit in. I think these are a really nice option to try out. Lengthwise, they are a little long on me, so if I feel like they look frumpy if I don't have a heel with them, just because I don't like the bunchy look at the bottom. So I did pair it with a heel. But yeah, these made me want to try out more of the Abercrombie jeans again and maybe update my review. I paired it with this taupe stripe little cardigan sweater. These are such a great spring and even summer layering basic like to take with you when it's chilly, like in a restaurant or something like that. But they also work really nicely for workwear too, because you can 
even close it up and wear it as a top. I got this one in an extra small because they were out of the small, so it is a little small for me to button it, but it looks nice if I'm gonna wear it open. So I would say size down if you only wanna wear it open, but it is true to size. And then underneath I layered this white top. I actually own this top in, in a color kind of similar to this one. I got it last fall and it is one that I reach for in my wardrobe often. It's just a really nice layering piece and it's not a bodysuit, but it stays tucked in really nicely. I like the little ruching on the side and it also looks nice without like a layer over top. So I grabbed it in the white just to have a nice like bright white option for spring and summer. All right, I just tried these with flats and they're honestly not as bad as some of the other jeans that I've tried. I think when I wear it with a flat that has a little bit more skin showing, then it helps. But I do still like prefer it a little bit more with the heel, but I do think a flat is doable with these just depending on the shoe. All right, next up from Abercrombie is this little athleisure set. The skirt does not have any built-in shorts. I really like the shape to it and the material. I would say it's very similar to the Air Essentials from Spanx. It's like a thicker, puffy, light, comfortable fabric. I am wearing a medium. There's definitely room to size down if you're in between at Abercrombie. I may end up switching mine out for a smaller size. We'll see. The top is pretty boxy and I think because I have a shorter torso, it's overlapping a little bit more than it's supposed to. So I think sizing down might be better. But this is definitely a set that you can mix and match. I think this top would also look really cute with leggings. And this is just a really nice spring and summer weekend athleisure look. Here is another way to style the skirt. I paired it with that little sweater from earlier and then this mocked neck sleeveless sweater, which is a really good layering piece. I love to even wear these under sweaters if I want that little neckline to come through. Also really great for like transitioning season as well. And then this color goes really nicely with the skirt. Next up is this casual athleisure dress. It's a very similar material to the last set. It comes in a couple different color options. I do like the slit on the side and it has a really nice fit. A lot of times dresses like this are more squared off and I feel like I need to belt them, but this one has a really nice cut to it where you can just wear it on its own. One of those like simple throw it on and go type of dresses. Also be really great like working from home. I do like this higher neckline and the way that the shoulders are cut, they kind of come in a little bit. I am wearing a size small. I also have some pieces from Aerie that are included in the sale and I haven't shopped at Aerie, I feel like since 2020, I really loved their sweatshirts back then, but they just kind of fell off my radar. So I wanted to see what new pieces they had and I really loved this ribbed top. I love the slouchiness of it. Also does have the thumb holes and I think this will be a nice spring layer. You can wear it off the shoulder. I just know I'm gonna wear this a lot with leggings. I paired it with a purple sports bra. It has a little scallop trim detail there. Doesn't exactly match the shorts and then the shorts have this really cute little laser cut on the side and then a little scallop trim detail all the way around. These do have built-in shorts. They are on the shorter side. I don't know if I just have mine pulled up higher because that's just my comfort zone or what, but I think I'm wearing a medium in these. They also had these in black. This is the perfect example as to why I love my Spanx Booty Boost leggings because they do not do me dirty like this. Do you see this like hamburger situation? I don't even know what we can call this, but my skin is just like <laughs> coming out of the sides of these leggings and they're just, they're just too high waisted or something about them. The waistband's not like holding me in. I mean, they're comfortable. They're kind of like a line leggings, but I feel like they're also giving me a major camel toe situation. So they're really cute. They have a scallop detail, but I just love my booty boost <laughs> leggings. So yeah. There's a little scallop detail. So yeah, I don't know if these are just, I think they're just not supportive enough and they come up too high. I don't know, they just don't fit me great. 
Some of you may remember the gorgeous Zimmerman dress I shared last month in my Nordstrom haul, and I spotted this dress recently, and I think it is such a beautiful look for less option. When I saw it, I was like, that print just screams Zimmerman to me, and this is significantly less. It also just has gorgeous detailing. It has this lace trim on the neckline and the sleeves, and then the buttons are also really pretty and unique. They're actually like a mother of pearl and gold flower. Hello. Open your bag. Your bag. <laughs> so pretty. It is on the shorter side. It's hitting me sort of upper mid thigh. I'm 5'5 five five for height reference. Here it is like with my fingertips. But I think it's stunning. I love the silhouette and shape of it. I paired it with these white heels and I am wearing a size small. Next up is this white dress and I thought this would be a cute option if you have any like summer concerts on your radar. I know the rodeo is kind of starting up. It feels very like Texas and sort of, you can even make it Western sort of with the little starburst, little gold detail there. Also feels very free people to me with the overall fit. It has a lot of material to it. It is a little bit shorter in the front, but it honestly, the way it hangs, it doesn't feel short whatsoever. I paired it with my white little Western boots. I don't know if these exact ones are still available, but I'm sure they'll come out with a new version this year. I am wearing a small, if it's true to size. It looked like it was gonna fit big on the hanger, but it actually fits perfectly. And then it does have a little layer underneath right here and it is not see-through either. All right, next up is this little dress that is screaming and begging to go on vacation somewhere. It is just such a gorgeous vacation dress if you have something coming up this year. I'm wearing a small. The quality is exceptional. It's a really nice thick linen material. It's also tailored really nicely. The straps are adjustable. I love this little kind of lapel detail that they did here and the little buttons. I am wearing a small, it's true to size. And then I paired it with this little green bag. They had this bag in a bunch of different color options from bright colors to neutrals. And then I paired it with these little nude bobble heels. I don't wear these heels a ton, honestly. I think the last time I wore them was actually last March. I wore them in Cabo for a wedding. They are actually comfortable for a heel like I was fine in these all night but I just don't wear strappy heels all that often in my everyday life but for like the right occasion they are a really nice shoe choice. I love the shape and the top of this dress but sadly it's fitting me a little too big like it's just floating and if any guy was taller than me he would just be straight down the top area but it's such a cute shape and I love even this little cap sleeve situation but yeah it is just too roomy there I definitely couldn't size down either because it fits perfectly in the hips of course I could get it like taken in the material is actually like quite stretchy and comfortable so I could get it taken in to fit a little bit better. I'm not sure what size I'm wearing here, but I'll put it in the description box below, but very cute option if you have a bigger chest area to fill this out, maybe it will work a little bit better for you. It would be a really cute little Easter dress option as well. I'm honestly underwhelmed by this dress considering the price point. I feel like it's just not screaming anything super special to me. It does have a really nice fit through the bottom half. But the top half is, again, very big in the chest, and it just seems excessively large for the chest area. It's also a weird dress to get into because it zips down the side here, but then the top was still kind of challenging to get into, so I don't know. Just underwhelmed by this one, I guess. I'm wearing a size small. I mean absolutely not with this price point of this dress. I can find so many other cute little white dress options. I thought this would be a really cute work dress, but I don't think this one's going to work for the office for most of y'all. At least it is very short on the side, but it is a really cute like spring dress. If you're into making casual things a little dressier, I guess it feels very business casual, but it's definitely not. <laughs> Very flattering though. I love when things 
are fitted on the bottom half and then have like the room on top. I just find it to be a very flattering silhouette. I pulled the sleeves up to kind of scrunch them up, but they are full length and they do have quite a bit of volume to them. I thought the details on this trench coat were so unique and girly. I loved the little trim detail and I also really liked the buttons. I'm wearing a small, it's definitely oversized. I easily could have sized down. I feel like trench coats in general though, for the most part are pretty roomy, but I pulled the sleeves up to kind of give it, to take away some of the heaviness of it. Cause I just felt like it just looks a little big and sloppy as is on me. So yeah, I would definitely recommend sizing down in this one. If you are eyeing it, the trim detail goes all the way, all the way around in the back as well. And it's a really nice length too. I recently shared a blog post styling the trench coat. So if you are looking for outfit ideas, I will link that below. So if you're not already following me in the LTK app, you are definitely missing out on content. I post so many different outfits there. I post my daily outfits and just anything and everything that I've ever shared. Seriously, it's in that app. And you can also search for outfit ideas in there. I use it every single day. So I definitely recommend giving it a try. You can also heart and save things to make your own shopping wish list, and it will email you sale alerts on those items as well. So that's a little shopping tip to take advantage of. But my LTK is Strawberry Chic XO, and I will have it linked for you down below. But I hope you enjoyed today's looks. Thank you for watching, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.